Okay. Hey, hey. Happy Wooksgiving. Yes. Oh I've been man. Cooking. I've been up since four in the morning. I started. Yeah, I was I got done with work today, like half day, and I was like, huh, I should think about this turkey and brine. And I pulled up my notes from last year because I don't have a great memory. And it's like Brian for 24 hours. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Brian him for 12. Yeah, Brian okay. it for 12. Well, I started with the turkey last week frozen, and then I ended up with a puddle of blood in the bottom of my fridge, so I had to clean and bleach the fridge out. But That's the for, first note they tell you, man. You got to put like, it in a pan or in something. In a container, I know. Well, in a container. I never read the fucking directions. No. <laughs> Dude. I'm still not fully thawed, but I've heard that you can brine and thaw at the same time. Oh, definitely. Will. The brine yeah. will help it thaw. So yeah, the salt. That's like putting salt on ice. What's up, Jason? It's just the three of us hanging out. Just well, like actually, three. if if you guys are watching this after the fact, not live, which is typically how you view microdoses, go ahead and leave a comment here and tell us what you think about brining and your techniques. <laughs> or actually, uh, we're what well, really what we're going to talk about are sides. Size, this is a yes. weird microdose, man. Right. I, I spent all my day today making the sides so I don't have to do it tomorrow and I can actually. All of your interact. sides, do they all reheat as well? Because my wife and I were discussing what we should do tonight versus tomorrow. And I was thinking like mashed potatoes dry out the second time around. So I want to make those fresh tomorrow, right, yeah, but like a the... casserole or like. With, Mac with the, or whatever you could do tomorrow. With tonight. the mashed potatoes, I have a little bit of chicken stock. So I put that once they're hot, and then that just gives just them enough that fluff. Shit butter, man. Right. Butter and cream. Yeah, I try to cut down as much as I can on that. I'm yeah. getting old. I wear that shit too well. Um, stuffing is the only one I'm questionable about. Yeah. You know, whether to make it fresh it. or to, you know, you have to cook it all the way. You can't leave the bread wet and sit there soppy breadcrumbs all night so yeah christina's in charge of the stuffing this year i'm in charge of the bird and the mashed potatoes no nice. i can nail that i'm gonna smoke it actually i got a pellet smoker it's gonna be dope do you do um mac and cheese no well <laughs> so here's the thing man before thanksgiving or a couple days ago i was like hey why don't we keep things simple this year we're only having <laughs> My in-law over, like, it'll be a small dinner. It's like, let's just do, like, the turkey and one or two sides. And my wife's like, yeah, definitely. And so today we were, like, talking about it. She's like, all right, well, I added the she just glazed carrots and cranberries and stuffing. And, like, there, we're up to, like, seven sides. And I'm like, what happened? So, yeah, I, I drew the line. We're not doing any mac and cheese. Um, but pretty much everything else we're discussing today we are doing right. for tomorrow. I, I never did mac and cheese growing up, but my ex-wife did, and my kids grew up with it, so it's become yeah, I agree with Jason. stuffing day of yeah. Is it stuffing or dressing, Jason? I think it's stuffing. No, I think everybody calls it dressing, or I mean calls it something, but I think technically it's dressing unless you're actually using it. Unless you're stuffing. Right, which I'm just going apples, I think. Straight apples and a little celery for... It's dangerous to stuff the bird. It's where all the salmonella lives or whatever. I'm not going to eat the have. stuffing. I'm going to chuck them, but it just gives it even mass distribution, man. Look at us. It's like the food now. We're four minutes into a microdose. And what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> all right. What's uh, that first thing down there? Like, they you... all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> they all look the same. <laughs> I want to say this is a casserole of some sort. Put it green up. Bean let's, casserole. Do... let's go green bean casserole. Oh, the green bean casserole. Oh man, green bean casserole is a D because you don't have. Yeah, enough. it is. <laughs> I, for one thing, green beans are not in season this time of year. You need like a roasted vegetable of some, a root vegetable, carrot, root vegetable, carrot, yeah. potatoes, yams. That's we should have definitely thing. talked about taboos. By the way, we should have. We should have um, next I, time. I, I go. I'm going with succotash this year because I like lima beans. I don't oh, care yeah, what yeah. anybody says. This is very interesting. So we'll see. All right. Next, well, dinner rolls. rolls. I'm a I'm a tier borderline S tier all day, every day, because I love carbs and a good dinner roll. It's funny, hey, the picture you got, you got were these like crescents. I'm not about those crescents though. I want like the wide ones that are flaky and you can get like the butter in the middle. 
Um, actually, if it were Crescents, I think it would go down to a B tier. But where are you at? Uh, I'd say it's an A because you got to have it to sop up the gravy and everything else. Everything else. It's like a vehicle, really. It's the Thanksgiving vehicle. And, and then you have them left over for a little turkey sandwich, a little slider, a little turkey slider afterwards. So this one, by definition on the picture, is uh, brown sugar, sweet potato. What is that? like? Uh... Yeah, I was just sweet potato. But yeah, I put the marshmallow so we could differentiate. Okay, so I actually have in my house, we usually just have like actual like yams or like potato, but this is almost like mashed yams, I guess, or mashed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I chunk. Potatoes. I do chunk and then I sprinkle brown sugar. Yeah. Oh, and maybe God, a little so bit good. of chili powder to give them a little bit of kick to it. You know who's going to really enjoy this microdose is Wooks out there that just smoked and they're like, oh, yeah, talk about that brown <laughs> sugar. <Yeah. laughs> Hey, do we have any brown sugar? <laughs> <laughs> you used it on the brine? What the fuck? All right. Um, so I go I go C because I don't eat yeah, that shit. Yeah, C all day. Not not as bad as green bean casserole, but... Um, all right, cranberry. So first question for you is, do you go the one with the chunks or like the just the gel with the can? I made you... my own this year. Okay. And That's what I did was... Complete opposite I, of where I'm at. What did you cooked, do with it? I cooked the cranberries all the way down till they were mush and strained all the liquid the sugar liquid with the cranberry flavoring and off and then i thickened that with cornstarch so it made an actual sauce sauce not with the chunks of berry in it yeah but i also had to buy a can because the kids are like fuck that we want the can with the yeah. ribs on it and <laughs> i'm with your kids i i like the can and i like it kind of like this picture where you still see like the can ridges in it Yes. You know, like you slide it out, like boop, you know where to can, slice cut it. it in half, put it on right. a dish, and that's exactly right. what I want. And you can slice them all evenly because the can's ribbed and yeah. So tier wise, I think I'm at an S tier. I have two oh. S tiers. Oh wow! An you know, I don't like it on its own. Actually, if you just gave me a plate of cranberry sauce, I'd be like, be like "Nah, man." But when you have all of the heavier, like the mashed potatoes and the turkey uh, and the stuffing, it's, it's all kind of nice. like heavy and carb. That like the tartness and like it's like sweet, but like almost like a little. Right. I, I guess I, I, word. I was it's gonna perfect. go. I was gonna go B with it. So I guess we're dropping it in A. If you want to put it before rolls, you can. No, I'll put it in B tier. All right. Yeah, you totally talked to me down. You didn't even try to. I just like as I was thinking, I was like, no, because the other there's other ones that are high. Wait, mashed potatoes is S for me. S, one hundred percent. It is S S fully. It S. is the side. Yeah. Big, well, put, stuffing is kind of the side too, but I don't know. Mashed potatoes are just. Wait, these are. Oh, you. I thought you were skipping ahead to stuffing. I was like, we well, gotta talk about mashed potatoes, man. Right. No, I, yeah, I was just saying, no, mashed potatoes. Now, do you, I make them without cream. I put butter and chicken stock in them. Yeah. Um, no, I melt butter in a separate pan, not in the potatoes, and I fold cream into the butter. And then I actually do like roasted garlic and, and fold that in. So I end up with this garlic butter cream, like, you make syrup, hipster like, potatoes. Yeah, hipster. I've been doing. I don't know, man. My my Grammy back in the eighties used to do that shit. In, oh, with I the garlic. See, because garlic always makes me think. Like all my grandmother's recipes were, you're lucky if it said to put salt in. It, you know? No, see, it's weird because I think it's a combination of Irish and Italian and like a Jersey thing. Because like she was raised by an Italian family, and like a lot of garlic was in everything. Right. But uh, that was your answer. I like good, that. Dude. Real good. All right, Mac, dude. So you, all right, you brought up Mac. I was actually a little caught off guard because I don't. When we originally talked about this on like the Mastodon thing or whatever, yeah. I don't automatically think of mac and cheese as a Thanksgiving side. I love mac and cheese. Don't get me wrong. Like love mac and cheese, but I don't know if on this thing, like as a side for Thanksgiving, right. if it's as high for me. Right. Well, the, I got two things on it. I think it's more a Southern thing. Okay. Having the mac and cheese. Sure. And another thing is like creamed corn is another southern thing you'll see at Thanksgiving. But for me, like I told you earlier, I never did it as a kid. But yeah, my ex-wife did. 
And so my kids were indoctrinated into that from as early as they can remember. So now, now it's got to be part it. of it, right? Every year you have to do it. Right. And if it's my if it's my kids, I'd put it A, but generally I'd put it as a B. That's what decides what you have on Thanksgiving. It's not what you actually want to eat. It's what <laughs> your history enforces you right. to do. All right, yeah, B tier. And then stuffing, dressing. Uh, see, I have to put that as an S too. Yeah. They're the two biggest piles on my plate are the potatoes and the stuff. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think mashed potatoes that edges it out, but so this it's is a, a strong it, list right here. We did a right. good job, man. Funny, it's uh, so many carbs, though. My God. <laughs> I know. I know. And I just started eating out there right. a couple like a week or two ago. And I've been we'll doing have to, great, but we, we should have done one with pies. Oh yeah, maybe maybe we'll do that later. Yeah, or tomorrow. Maybe we can get Llama to actually show up and do one with us. <laughs> we were going to do goo whether Trey will be affected by playing with Goose and You wanna talk about that for a minute? Uh, we'll talk about it tomorrow or Friday. Subscribe, like, yes. look for us. All right. Super thanks too.